This is Batar, the youngest of three brothers hailing from one of the oldest and most respected Husayt clans. Batar followed his brothers from a young age who started a mercenary company that was successful for quite some time. This was because due to the size of their clan and how many male heirs are in it, they were entitled to no lands, so they chose to make their own fortunes. Unfortunately, during the latest war between the Husayt and the Northern Empire, their company was ambushed behind enemy lines. Chaos ensued and those who could flee, including Batar, chose to get away with their lives. After coming back to the battlefield, Batar discovered the cold lifeless corpses of his two brothers. He rounded up the remaining men, gathered as many bodies as he could, and headed home to bury them. After putting the souls of the dead to rest, Batar plans to avenge the fallen, no matter the cost. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new series. This is episode one of a series that I've been very excited to bring you guys. Uh, it is the Kuzei Warlord series. Now, the Mounted Archer playstyle is a playstyle that I really like and enjoy playing, but I've never done a Kuzei uh, series before, which is weird. But uh, yeah, here we are. Now, the reason I started a new series is because, as you might have guessed, uh, Banneror just did a full release and a lot of mods got updated and everything and I did not want to stay in 1.8.0 I wanted to come to the full release and uh, yeah, I cannot believe that this game is finally out guys Rest in peace to all the homies that did not make it all the way here So yeah, we will be sadly abandoning the Game of Thrones mercenary. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine Dirk is a cunning man and I think he'll be all right. He'll be all right So here we've got our new protagonist Batar Batar is a Kuzay man through and through. He just uh, got done uh, burying his brothers in their home uh, village. And uh, he came straight to the closest city to drink uh, to their memory, him and the people remaining in their uh, mercenary company. Now, in terms of the mods that I'll be using for this playthrough, you guys keep asking about mods in every single video I, I post. A lot of you keep asking. It's always in the description. I don't know what to tell you. In a lot of videos, I tell you that the mods in the description and people still ask in the comments. I, I'll, look, uh, editor, please write in the, in the screen right now that the mods are in the description down below, all right? The mods are in the description down below. Thank you. So I want to talk a little bit about plans for this series and uh, for this episode as well. Um, we are just going to try and bring honor to our family's name and to our fallen brothers. We are going to become a Kuzate warlord. We're going to wreak havoc in this world. We are going to conquer by the sword and by the bow. We will avenge our brothers. We will own land. We will become powerful. I will carry on my brother's dreams, uh, <laughs> you know, in, in their place. And for this episode, what I'll be focusing on is basically rebuilding our broken mercenary band. I'll, I'll go around, uh, gather some boys, gather some money so I can pay uh, the men that will be under my command. We get some cool loot and uh, we go and negotiate a contract once we have like a big enough party. We go and negotiate a new contract with the Kuzay Kingdom under my name because now I'm the leader of this mercenary band. And you know, we kill as many Northern Empire bastards as we can. <laughs> I swear this feels like the Darius series, but from the other side, you know? <laughs> That's so cool, actually. We kill as many of the Northern Empire bastards as we can, and if the Crusade stop uh, their crusade against them, we become a vassal and we provoke war once again. All right, then, let's get this adventure started. All right, we are here in uh, Ortongard. Oh, oh, look at all these mods. The bank, the scholar, sheesh. Recruit troops. Oh, we got some cool troops here, but we can't afford them. So what we'll be doing is uh, we'll go look for some bandits, some looters, whatever we can get our hands on for some uh, loot to sell and make some money and to also like let the boys release their frustrations from uh, that last ambush that happened to us. So yeah, let's go look for some people. Hey, 15 looters. I have a mod that does like an overhaul of pretty much all um, troop trees. And as you can see, these looters have uh, footpad, lackey, and ruffians. Oh, you, you, you'll, you'll be selling your lives, all right. You'll see. Uh, surrender or die. But as you can see, did you just see it, by the way? Now Bannerlord has voice lines. It has voice lines. And as you can see with the mod uh, that I got from Steam Workshop, the, they have Steam Workshop support now, that these guys are not just normal looters. All right, here we go. Mountain archery, baby. It's time. It's time. 
the high tier looters are actually good for us because the we'll be getting the some cool loot all right all right we should we should just stay away from them and just like pepper them all right boys don't get too close but yeah i love this kind of play style uh you just feel like genghis khan bro like you feel like a you feel like a menace a pain in these people's asses Ooh, our first kill of the campaign our second kill of the campaign Ooh, what a headshot oh got him oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> what the fuck but yeah our first victory first of many to come man do i love mounted archery not a single casualty such a satisfying playstyle. you guys don't understand i'll keep the upgrades until uh, later on when we have the money for it we'll keep we're keeping our uh, traditional kuzay drip unless we find a better traditional drip we are not switching all right we'll take everything we really need the money right now all right let's keep hunting 25 looters we can do it back off stranger unless you want trouble that's the trouble is exactly what i want all right same uh, same thing we did last time Whitman, go away you guys follow me same thing boys just we keep poking them until they lose their minds that is literally all genghis khan did literally one of the most influential armies in the history of mankind this is this was their strategy hit and run hit and run until they lose their minds no, 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 don't get in there, don't get in there. Just poke at them, Pro poke at them from a distance, boys. No need to get close. Make them lose that morale. Okay, get away, get away, get away. The boys are getting, uh, they're getting ideas. We don't want to lose anyone. <laughs> oh, man. I am not as skilled as, uh, Strat Gaming and Archery. Uh, if you guys don't know, he just started a super, super cool series that I will be watching on his second channel. Uh, Strat Plays, I think the second channel is called. Shout out to him. Very, very cool lad. Uh, one of the nicest people I know. But yeah, he started a cool little playthrough where he plays as uh, Robin Hood with no targeting reticle, unlike me, a pleb. Um, and he's only going to be recruiting uh, companions, no soldiers. Very, very interesting uh, uh, playthrough. And I advise you guys all to go uh, give it a watch. I, I really enjoyed episode one. And I, I'm looking forward to more from him. Uh, but yeah, we are decimating these boys <laughs> as we should be. Oof. Nice. Let's go. This is going to be a cool series. Are we taking prisoners? No. We keep our movement speed. Uh, won't hurt to upgrade these two. Just so they have some shields. Uh, nice, nice, nice. We can sell a lot of these. Give me that. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I don't need shields. I'm a proud Kuzay warrior. I don't need any shields. I'm not seeing any looters. So let's just go sell our stuff. I sell all of these. Sell all of that. Sell all of those. Oh my god. We almost ran out of food. Good thing we came back then. Let's get some butter. Some grain. Eat the boys really well, all right? Cheese and some fish and some meat. We need some protein, right? We'll get two-step horses. And we get 600. Very nice. Eee, it's a lot of looters. Get over here. What do you want with us? Can we get 32? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we probably can. Let's go. We just gotta hit our shots. You guys go as far as you can. And we go and pepper them, boys. Follow me. Let's ruin these people's lives. <laughs> i'm laughing because i like how we we just like every fight we go behind them just destroy them oh yeah we're landing those headshots keep it up boys keep it up hey man you, you he, yeah yeah okay i won't say anything i think you're slick there you go i think i just dismembered him <laughs> run them down run them down I'm trying to run away good thing we have horses huh <laughs> Look at them run. i know right 
Very nice, very nice. That's what I like to see, boys. Why did no one tell me that the Crusade were this fun to play? I think we can upgrade these guys, yep. Uh, ooh, throwing daggers. I'll take them. Very stylish. Very nice, and we protected the caravan. You better, you guys better remember that. Thousand from now, let's go. Uh, I would like to get some more horses. And uh, some of the villagers here will probably be selling some. But yeah, I feel... Ooh, okay, one more looters. One more party. Don't go, get into the forest. Yes, we caught them before they got into the forest. Let's get these bastards. All right, boys, let's go. Just imagine how terrifying it was to go against the Mongols, man. Oh my god. It is terrifying. I feel like I'm borderline cheating, man. Ooh, crispy headshot. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna kill my one of these guys. One of the boys <laughs> one of these days. Ooh. Ooh. Was that it? Let's go. Too powerful. I'm really curious how this is going to work against lords and uh, actual military, I mean. Not a lot of things on these guys, but let's take it. All right, let's go sell and then we'll go get some horses. But yeah, we just got 2,000 from just that bit of uh, fighting. And uh, the boys have probably warmed up. All right. Also, re any recruits? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And we're paying almost 100 per day. Ooh. Another 900. All right. Work. You and 24 of your peasants are helping the locals around their village by gathering resources and working the land. 200 for working for the people. Very nice. Very nice. Some sumter horses and mules. Very good. I'll pay 600. Fuck. Uh, lose one of the mules. Yeah. Another paycheck. <laughs> Come here. I have one with you guys. And now we have even more horse archers, so this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be something else. Infantry is just stand here, actually. You're gonna be fine. They probably won't even reach you. Look how many horse archers we have. Oh! Oh! Oh, they just shot in the air. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ooh! We got cool lancers as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight inside the forest. I'll win. It's just, it won't be fun. It's not my preferred strategy. My ancestors did not fight like that, all right? It is. It will be blasphemy to fight, <laughs> to fight like that. Okay, we should probably... Ooh, if we try and negotiate a contract right now, we could probably go and, like, wreak some havoc in there. I do want to recruit more people before I actually do that. Let's see. I sell. Well, I can sell to these. To, okay, I'll sell some of these. Boom. And then I'll recruit these two. All right, we got 29 people right now. Um, I'm debating, like, I, I shouldn't really negotiate a mercenary contract right now because they do pay uh, based on how many people you have in the party. So ideally, We'll want to work our way up to 45 people, and then we start negotiating for a mercenary contract. I say we just keep doing jobs and fighting until we have 45 people, and then we negotiate a contract. And there is a quest right here. Let's see. Escort merchant caravan. Should be great. Let's go. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? That is a good busy accent right there. <laughs> All right. I heard you had a problem. Surge of banditry lately. Uh-huh new caravan but i fear it will be plundered 350 for each day the caravan is on the road consider me the man for the job <laughs> all right let's see here there goes the caravan and we stick with it if this is gonna be raiders it's gonna be some really good equipment it is raiders 61 of them oh man if it is raiders and it is this is gonna be some good equipment but also uh a good test to see because they're also mounted archers. It's gonna be a good test to see how we'll fare against actual troops. Ooh, it's dark. Since there are other mounted archers on the enemy team, I'll just tell my boys to charge. I'm not going to lead them because that's gonna be awkward as hell. Ooh, wee, what a shot. 
Okay, I'll follow the other mounted archers. Start working on them. Oof! Oh, who the fuck are these guys? Yo! Oh my god! Who are these guys? How did I not see them? Oof. If that if that uh tree wasn't there, I'd have gotten that knife throw. What's your problem? Think you could stab my horse like that? Do you know how uh dear uh Kuzate's horse to him is better than his family? Oof! In some cases it is his family. <laughs> Just because I'm playing a Kuzate, the horse fucker jokes won't stop, you know? Ooh, that was close. Who the fuck is that guy? Ooh, I ran out. Alright, let's go. Got him. Ooh. Well, that camel just took a, an arrow for me. Oof. How are we looking, boys? Oh my god! Oh! Nice. Give him an impossible angle. Good, he didn't shoot at me. That's a trick from all the way in the bad warband days. If you give them an impossible angle, they they just won't shoot you. What, what can they do? Oh my god! Fuck! I took it in the head. Shit! You get them? Yes, we got them. Please don't tell me we lost people. Only I got knocked out, bro. My boys are too strong. Uh, uh, the actual caravan lost some people, though. Ooh. Ooh, even the length is better. I'll take it. More arrows, yeah. We'll take those instead of the daggers. And, the uh, Better shoes? Yes. Grain. Can we take everything else to sell? Very good. There's another fight right here. I can't fight. I'll watch the battle. If I send my troops, I'm gonna lose them all. I'll watch the battle instead. I'm knocked out and I'm giving orders. Get him, boys! Get him! He's just a looter! Get him, boys! Ooh, nice. Look at him looking back at them while he's running away. That's kind of funny. There he goes. I think he's just... Yeah, he's running around, uh, away. Let's go! GG's, boys! We leveled up from that. Very nice. Ooh, that's just a better weapon altogether. Masterwork tier. Horseman boots. Fashion over stats, boys. You know how it is on this channel. And some good horses, very nice. I'll take everything else to sell, it looks like. Boom! See why I told you this is gonna be a lucrative mission? Let's go sell our shit. We are pretty fast now, very good. We'll sell our shit, and we'll get some recruits to bolster our people even more. 2,700. Oh yeah! Alright boys, we've got uh, almost 3,000 dinars. Let's just wait for our employer to finish what they're doing then. Alright, let's follow them. Boom, 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 boom. Donostica, huh? We're going to the Southern Empire. I see. Okay, more raiders. Don't tell me this is... Oh my god. This is gonna be a uh, woods battle. But again, RTS because I'm knocked out. Infantry, you stay here. Good. Don't go, don't go into the lake, boys. Don't, don't, don't do it. You're not that stupid. Oh yeah, buddy. The boys made short work of the raiders. They're already running away. Someone shoot this guy. He's on your way. Why are you celebrating? Kill him. Ah, they ran away. All right, very well done. Any cool loot that you guys uh, earned us? Ooh, some good stuff. We'll keep it all. Some more looters. Okay. We just sent troops at these guys. Nice. One person died. Shame. Keep everything. Boom. And uh, we keep going. Hey, quest completed. 4,000. That leaves us with 4,200. Amazing. Let's sell everything we have so we're not uh, weighed down. Another 1,000 from the gear that we sold. And we're looking pretty damn good, boys. Now let's go and like get our party to 45 people and negotiate a mercenary contract. Man, do the uh, troops cost a lot. I'm almost out of money, and we're not even filled up on them. 900. 
we have 800 left that's four days of wages i think i think we could survive on 42 people instead of 45 all right i think we'll be fine uh anyone here game of the lake nah that person can't negotiate a mercenary contract for us so let's go look for someone who can Hurung. okay and mihir we'll wait for one of them to show up come on now i'm spending money here oh there we go hi i don't think i know you peace to you stranger peace to you too mihir uh, my name is Batar, sir. May I ask your name? Mihir. Uh, I'd like to discuss something. I'd like to enter the service of Khan Monshug. My sword is yours for the right sum. 130 dinars for every group of enemies you vanquish. Mm, come on, man. I'll accept. You can count on me. As of now, your enemies are my enemies and your honor is my honor. And here we are. We are now at war with the Northern Empire. It is time to avenge our brothers and to get paid while we're doing it. Let's go wreak some havoc. All right, let's see here. What's the war uh, looking like? They've got more war exhaustion, more casualties. Uh, they lost some thieves. Yeah, we're winning. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the armies are over there, so we, we could go. Yeah, we could go take a look. Let's go. That perk just lowered our wages by 10 dinars. Amazing. Yeah, let's follow the armies. Most of the action is going to be around the armies anyway. Oh, you want me to catch that guy for you? Let me do it. Oh, are you guys still going to back me up? If you please, they do. Stop there. I would ask you for your name. Batar. You know we're at war, right? So you surrender. Rida. I had hoped that perhaps things would not uh, come to fighting. It's not today. You heard me. You yield or you fight. You're not surrendering, so do <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I mean I've got I've got a hundred people on you here, so <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible place for uh horse archers. Oh my god, what the fuck? Also, is this a new map? That's actually beautiful as hell. This is a beautiful map, god damn. His fault for extending this much. Come here. Nice, boys. I right, now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is the infantry over there fighting? Alright, uh, push back, push, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Everyone, pull back, pull back. Don't get, don't get baited into it. Pull back, just like that, just like that. And just pepper them, alright? We don't need to fight these guys, they don't have horses like us. What the fuck are these guys? Boom. Nice. We just poke, poke, that's the name of the game for the Kuzei. We poke. Very nice, we got them sandwiched here. They can only block from one side. Their formation is bad. Their formation is bad. This is great. <laughs> nice. This is for my brothers, you imperial bastards. Take this. Run them down, everyone. Run these bastards down. They will know fear by that Kuzei horde. <laughs> Alright, let's run these last guys down. Very respectable, respectable effort from one of those guys. Get his ass, everyone. Big mistake. Oh my god! Oh my god! You see all those arrows? Oof, that was a nice shot. Ooh, that was a beautiful shot. Let's go. I got the last uh, kill in the battle. Let's go. Let's go. We taught those bastards a lesson. They will never forget the terror that they've witnessed today. I've lost one person. 
Ah, a fair sacrifice. I'm not interested in prisoners. The loot, though. Ooh, these are going to be some nice souvenirs that I'll be taking home with me. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll keep it. I'll take it. Do I want this? Doesn't look that bad, to be honest. So I'll just take it. Yeah. Yep, I'll take it. Straight up upgrade. Actually, I like this, this style more. Yeah, not gonna lie. Alright, take everything else. Let's move. I'll stick with the main army. They're going to besiege Umbrella. Ooh, baby. Join the continuing siege. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to besiege. The forest people in the Kuzay have signed a <laughs> mercenary contract. The more the merrier. Here we are, boys. Batar is about to go and get himself some Imperial kills. It's our first siege as a mercenary company. I'm excited. And Monshug himself, the Khan, is here himself. Let's prove ourselves to the Khan, alright? Who knows? With enough uh, kills, if I prove myself enough here, he might just make me a vassal one day. Ooh, I love the banners. Alright, I'll wait it out and see where their siege weapons are going to strike. I don't want to die among the first, uh, first wave. Stay close! My boys, stay with me. Oof. That's a good approach here. Probably the siege ladders. We'll just follow them. That was kind of close, right, boys? <laughs> to me! All right, boys, we're going to go through those volleys and reach the siege ladders, all right? Oh, my God, that was devastating. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone with me, with me, with me. Get out of here. Come on. You're going to get killed. It's dangerous here. <laughs> get up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ideally... I'll find a nice vantage point. Maybe, maybe up here. If there's no one on this, I'll kill the people who are operating the siege weapons. Get them to stop uh, killing our boys. Let's see here. You fuckers. Boom. Okay. Now this one is no longer working. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Are they gonna come up here? If they do. Boy, do I have a surprise for them if they come up here. Hey, the boys! We're already here. Alright, let's see here. I know where we can get some kills. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna farm some kills. Actually, let me check something out. If there's a siege weapon up here. Oh, there is none. Okay, I can just shoot from here then. <laughs> oh, this is evil. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm gonna fall. Okay, okay, I actually want to try that. Hold on. Move, 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 move. Move! I have an express delivery for these boys. Move, move, move! Pick it up from here. I'm just doing this for shits and giggles, alright? <laughs> move, 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 move! Special delivery! Oh, they're still there. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I right, watch this. <laughs> oh, that was evil. That was straight up evil. Okay, I need a better angle. Hey, you want to fight? Let's go. Mm. 
Got him. Come here. Nice. Get him, lads. These are just, just weak Imperial men. Let's just get them. Because the horde is unstoppable. Come on. Come on, you bastards. I need to regroup with my boys. Come on, you fuckers. I'll send you all to hell. I'm hurt bad. Oh, they're ignoring me. Big mistake. Big mistake. Hey, you wanna... Our tree fu I just got knocked out. He sent me to sleep, boys. He sent me to sleep. I could actually be dead. I, I have, like, uh, death uh, settings turned on. Oh, my God. That's straight up blood. Hey, we won. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We've killed seven people. Felt like more, to be honest. <laughs> and we got some really good uh, skills from that. Very nice, boys. Monshun Khan. He has acknowledged me. Thanks for the help, stranger. We haven't met properly. Uh, have we? What is your name? Batar. Well met, Batar. I am Monchug. Thanks for your help, and I hope we meet again. Are those twins behind him? <laughs> Yo, he acknowledged us, boys. Let's go. <gasps> Yo, our own banner. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've never actually found it before, so uh, that is a first. Hey, we took Umbrella. Let's go. Uh, let's sell everything we have. It sells for 8,000. My God. So even if we don't want to use it, it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. Ew, crossbows. Ew, bows is where it's at. 8,000 gold. Very nice. Very nice. That's beautiful. Now to the featherless, a fellow Kuzay. Let's see what he's Please all about. What is your name? My name is Batu, sir. Tell me about yourself. I am one of the Highland clans in the Far East. I do not know if you are familiar with their ways. Uh-huh. A man of another clan slew my father. My father had slain his uncle many years before. It was my job to avenge my father, but the plague carried off his killer first. Uh, I know exactly what you're after. Revenge, because so am I. This is a brother right here. I'd be expected to kill his brother instead. This is how it is with us. Uh-huh. I'd always a talent for setting conflicts, and in this case, it seemed to be clear that that fate had ended the feud. But my mother begged me not to. My cousins begged me not to. They said I should spill blood, not words. <laughs> my family said others would mock my father's memory. They told me I had a choice, do my duty, or I would no longer be of their blood. Well, you're not after revenge, but I am, so come work for me instead. <laughs> I'll motivate him with money instead of revenge for his father. Hmm... <laughs> You are caught lacking, my friend. At least he's got his own uh, horse. But I'm not spending money, money on his armor. You're gonna have to earn it, boy. Hi, right, boys. It seems like that's all the time we have for this episode. What a really cool episode, to be honest. I am loving this character. I'm really feeling him. I'm feeling this roleplay. It's super cool. Akuze playthrough is something I've wanted to do for literally years at this point. And uh, here we are. Looking forward to see how this story progresses. Looking forward to become a vassal of Monchug. This is a playthrough that I see like Batar wants to establish his clan, you know, like advance them a little bit and become more and more powerful. He's not going to become, he's not going to be a mercenary his entire life. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed. Much love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.